Hey guys, how's it going? So we started the second half of the season and to be honest, we've had two wins, two losses. I'd like to think that overall, considering we went on a very long winless run, we've got some positive momentum here. And we're about to play our first, uh, second round of the All Japan Cup against Shonen, which is the J1 League team currently sitting 15th in the table. Will we be able to overcome them? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> but before we do, a couple of little notable transfers that are coming in next month, so midway through the season. We've got, unfortunately, uh, uh, Darko, our right back, he'll be leaving. His uh, loan terminates uh, in the summer. But we have, uh, looking to sign already, uh, Demian Nunez, who can play centre back and right back. And he's a three and a half star and a four star. So he'll be replacing Darko right back. And we're going to get on loan Shota Suzuki from Sendai, a three and a half uh, star centre back, which if I look at the stats, to be quite frank, I'm quite happy with them for the most part. We are trying to get a midfielder and I found this uh, Brazilian kid, uh, Chumbinho, and he does look really interesting in terms of stats. I mean, he can play in center mid and attack in mid. Might try and see if he can play a uh, slightly defensive mid, but when I check my scout reports, he's basically by far my best midfielder. So scouts have recommended that I sign him as a priority. So, so far I'm trying to get the bid through and hopefully we can sign him on. And without further ado, let's move on to the game. Okay, come on, Sanuki. Maybe we can cause an upset. So let's see. I'm gonna keep them balanced for now, just so that we don't get carried away. So we've got Dark on the front, to Nakai. We'll lose possession over to Shonen. And they look to set up something. The Goke on the wing. Okay. Ooh. Great save by Santiago. So we've got Shonen on the corner. Hopefully nothing comes of it. Yeah, just a go kick. It's Shonen once again on the ball. I mean, so far. Oh, Santiago once again. It's never a good sign when we can say that we're defending well. <laughs> oh, so close. Right, so we've only had two shots on target. Ah. I mean, if it, go if it goes down to penalties, which... Um, you know, it's a difficult uh, scenario to imagine. I like to think we do have the edge with uh, Santiago in goal. Like that. In 84, Shonen on the corner. Arakawa to take it. Oh no! Can't believe it. I uh, can't believe what I'm seeing. Hmm, four minutes left. Might be just a sad loss, I'm afraid. Did like to think that we've defended well. But in football, it's not about how well you defend, it's about how many goals you end up scoring without uh, conceding any. And I have not scored one. And we've got three minutes left on the clock. Oh, he gets fouled. And I think with the last 10 seconds of the game, it's going to be very difficult to come back from it. Ah, that signals our exit from the cup, I'm afraid. Yeah, we were underdogs. I mean, we did try. It's only a 1-0 loss. At least we can't be too disappointed. Right, so... Um... After the disappointing defeat against the J1 team Shonen, we've gone on a mega run of winning 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 games. 
drawing three and losing only three. And if you wonder what the league is looking like, I'm actually Tanuki is above me. <laughs> As you can see, we're eight with uh, 53 points. And when you look at the promotion slot, I am only three points away from a potential promotion slot. To be honest, it would be difficult with Nagasaki's uh, five additional goal difference to me. But a couple of wins, depending on a couple of results. I mean, technically speaking, I could get up to 59. So the most I could hope for would be fourth. And that would be that is very difficult to happen, given the goal difference between these teams. But, you know, technically speaking, I could sneak in sixth or fifth subject to results. Now, if we look at our schedule very briefly, my last two games are away to Iwata and Oita, which if we look at the competition, uh, you guys cannot see it there. But let me see if I can get a different view. I'll do it get out the way. There we go. And if you look at the very bottom, Iwata and Oita are 19th and 20th. So it does look very optimistic. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. To be quite frank, if you look at the club's vision, I was only expected to survive relegation, avoid relegation. I mean, promotion playoffs was a bit of a tall order for my team to get to J1. But if Eto, who has been literally on fire on the scoring front, especially in the last game, the last game I think he scored, if I'm not mistaken, he scored four goals. So there we go, yeah. So oh, got a 10 rating scoring four goals. I did get a he did win the monthly player, the most valuable player, the J2 for the month, which he dedicated to me. <laughs> and so um yeah. But anyways, with that said, let's let's move on to the next uh, league game and hopefully we can and hopefully we can fight for promotion. <laughs> Come on, Sanuki. Come on. We've got this. Ooh, they're playing a very defensive lineup. We've already three up the front and the rest of the team at the back. Come on. We've got to push through. I'm going to play positively, I think. Let's see if we can actually grab the three points we so desperately need if we want to get to promotion. Ooh, so close, Suzuki. There's one time to be on the throwing. Giving it to Suzuki, who gives it back to Sazaki. Giving it back to Suzuki. Can he shoot? No, to Kawasaki, who tries but gets blocked. Oh, and Suzuki! Yes! Pulls it out of nowhere from 20 yards out. What a finish. So far, so good. Santiago, who calmly takes control and gives the ball to Nakai, who gives it to Chumbinho, to Eto. He can't shoot Binho by a pass. He buys it. Oh, skies it. Here we go. A corner. Suzuki to take it. And it all tries to header it. Can't quite control it. Suzuki gives it to Sazaki to Chida Nakai. Oh, that was so close. There. Chida asking for the short ball. The Kawasaki. Suzuki can't quite control it, but Suzuki does keep possession. Is it to Zazaki who looks for Uchida? Finds Chumbinho outside the area. Oh, what a banger! Chumbinho! Just <laughs> he just put that right in the top corner. I wasn't sure he was going to try from there, but he saw the chance. He took it. And what a goal. Santiago safely catches that one. He has been, uh, can't say he's been as good as his last season, but he's definitely marked the difference in this team. With so many teams rumored to be after him, it'll be a difficult guy to keep if we don't get promotion. Oh, speaking of which, he's conceded just now. <laughs> Why did I talk? I'm going to bring in Noguchi for Kawasaki. 
Noguchi on the free kick. Oh! He's just put it into the top left corner. He's only been there for a couple of minutes and he's already scored. What a substitution. Okay, great ball. Can Nishizawa finish? Yes, he can. Let's go. 4-1. We can't do more than that. Come on. Well done, Sanuki. Can't ask for more than that. So that pushes us up into 7th. And if Kofu lose their next game, and we win, we could just about, maybe even if Yamaguchi and Kofu both lose, and I win, my goal difference should push me at least 6th. So there is still a chance. Right, so it's the, the last game of the season. Tanuki versus Oita. Who I believe, yeah, unfortunately, they are relegated. Uh, we've got Yamaguchi, who we need them to lose. And they're up against Tosu down here, who are 11. I don't think Tosu has anything to fight for as such. And the other team, Kofu, is up against... Uh, Nagasaki, who are tied on points with us, so Nagasaki versus Kofu, they have it all to play for, and I need Kofu or Yamaguchi to lose. I need to win first, and then I need to depend on either of those two teams to lose. If any, if they both draw, there's no point. I cannot uh, get anything from it. So let's see what happens. Okay, <laughs> come on, Sanuki, you got this. Let's make our fans proud. What a, what a season it would be, right? If we manage to get a promotion playoff. Hey, they have the ball. Oh, they have an interesting play here. Iketa coming into Manzini, who shoots. And, oh my days, he has slotted it in already. Not even seven minutes into the game. Okay. Interesting. Nakai running on the wing. Can he find it all? No. He's looking for Kawasaki, who nope, gets intercepted, and Oita now on the counter of sorts. Oh my days, it's 2 0. What is going on? We do need to try and get a goal. Yes, that's it. No side. And Kawasaki with a finish makes it 2-1. And I do feel it's going to be a struggle to get them in the dying uh, 10 minutes. But look, we're going to send Suzuki down on the ball. Can he find the pass up, upwards? No, he cannot. But he's looking to cross. And Noguchi has it. Oh, Noguchi again. <laughs> in the previous game, he scored just as he came on. And now he's my super sub. Oh my days, we got 15 minutes to make it 3-2 hopefully. And Noguchi, look at that for a volley. Wow. We do need that goal, that one goal that will send us into the promotion playoffs, hopefully. Okay. Oh, what a save from Nishimura. This is going to go down to the wire. Come on, Suzuki. Cross it in, Hasegawa, nope. Suzuki again. Oh. Can't get the pass. Minutes applying. I'm getting nervous. All we need is one goal. Okay. Ball's coming across. Okamura to Suzuki, who gives it to Ishizawa, tries to cross it to Nakai. Suzuki takes control, gives it to Okamura. We're down to the last three minutes, and the keeper clutches that one. And this is where I start to wonder what will happen to me next season. And Yukawa is trying to cross it in. Oh, and in the nine minutes, we've conceded a goal. And that definitely sentenced my club to not get into the promotion. 
Unfortunately, that's uh, that's looking like the end of the season for me. Ah. Oh. Well, it was a a great effort on the behalf of my team, but unfortunately, we just could not uh, clinch the victory. And looking at the score, though, even if we had won, we would have not made it as uh, Kofu drew, and so did um, Yamaguchi. And Yamaguchi drew minute 90 plus 2. And Kofu... Kofu's rather quiet game, but Yamaguchi did clinch it in minute 90 plus 2. Wow. So it definitely went down to the wire. So, with that said, unfortunately I made it to 8th. I didn't quite get to the promotion playoffs, but it certainly was uh, eventful. I'll give you that. Regarding the journeyman challenge, because I did not win a league or a trophy, and this is this was the bonus season as a result of getting promoted. I'm afraid I'm going to have to find a job elsewhere. Where will I go? We'll find out in the next episode. Until then, take care.